Hey, how's it? This is the foundation. Um, doing a graph preview of round one, round two, and round three. Um, it's really quick again. Going back to our first round pick, um, there's still some people that's not a little bit happy and in not happy with the pick. Um, you know, it's it's all your opinion. I mean, you have your pet cats, you have your favorites, and all that. You know, it's you know, I, I, and you probably have good. I mean, you know, you have good reasons and all that. Um, I was projecting him around that area, so I wasn't shocked and I wasn't disappointed and all that. I mean, unless Tack or Harris was there, you know, that would be the. I mean, King is a great argument to make. Um, you know, but they decided to go with they decided to go with the pass rusher. Uh, and real quick about a little bit more about Taco. They was in, you know his uh, freshman and sophomore year. He was in a he was in a uh, three four defense, and you know being a defensive end, or if you want to get you know for the real technical people out there, if you want to get technical, I say you know he was in the five technique, or you know I mean basically he's there to uh, free up the, the the outside linebackers to get make sure they get one on one one-on-one and all that so so his job is more to react and to hold to hold at least one of I mean at least two to um to offense alignment or give them the fate or give the, the the outside pass rusher a favorable uh, matchup um, also with that being said you know they moved him around a lot until his sophomore and junior year where he you know where he got to finally settle in and all that. And if you look, he has um, upped his production. It's not like he is a one-hit wonder. I mean, from five to nine sacks, it, it's a, it's it, it's not a big jump. It, you know, it's not that big of a jump, but it shows that he got better with with the coaching and with the and finally being um being able to be in an area of of where he can produce and all that so you know i'm again i'm happy with the pick um you know again i would have loved to have king i would you know i probably would have jumped out of my seat but i'm again i'm happy with the pick so now i'm moving forward to day two or second and third round obviously secondary is gonna be a huge target you know uh tankersley um I, if Kevin King was to ever fall that far, oh my God, <laughs> I would be doing backflips. I mean, man. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, there's quarterbacks that you know could be projected in this round. You know, Webb, uh, Kaya, and Peterman. Peterman has uh, you know has risen up. You know, I don't know where. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of way. There's a you know, and then offensive alignment, which I I, would, I thought at least three or four would have gone in the first round, um, ended up being this two. <laughs> so, so you know, this could be a run on um, this this could be a run on um, on some offensive alignment and some wide receivers. You know, there's a lot of projected second rounders. You know, Godwin, um, Zay Jones, Hanson. Hanson, uh, Stewart, um, Henderson, you know, there's a lot of guys, um, there's a lot of defensive, de defensive pass rushers, um, you know, Lawson, Willis, Rivers, um, Bashan, you know, there's a lot of guys in, in this, in this area too, um, tight end Shaheen, you know, Shaheen, maybe, maybe even one more other guy, I, I can't think of his name right now. Um, running backs, Mixon, Kamara, um, Dalvin Cook, who is a you know snub, uh, Riley, a defensive defensive linebacker, McMillan, um, Anderson, you know, oh yeah, another pass rusher, um, Williams, you know, who's gonna take the risk on him, you know, so so there's a lot of there's a lot of things where it could fall to us, you know, and all that, but uh, Tankersley is one, um, 
you know also you know um, this might not be popular but I just like his uh, fluent motion when he you know we, we first with Tankersley you know you just gotta love that physical son of a gun I tell you you know um, but I predicted that we'll take Tankersley so so hopefully he falls he, he's there but if but if we go another route Fabian Moreau um, I just love his uh, fluent you know his fluent motion you know he has very smooth transitions and when he when he goes out and stuff like that so I really I really like him a lot you know he probably would have been gone in the first round if he didn't if he didn't get injured you know so 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 depending on that Augustier is another one I wouldn't mind having Witherspoon uh, safety is you know if Williams falls to us the kid out of Utah I'm all good um, also also Josh Jones out of NC State man you know <laughs> Buddha Baker um, I think he's gonna go in this round I, I think I think guys are just gonna see that production this go you know what let's get this kid and let's not forget the workout warrior um, the guy that looks you know you molded a, a strong safety after you know Obi and all that um, I would wait for him on the third round I just don't see him as a second rounder I think we can get a better player at at, um, at the second round and all that but you know he I mean damn that guy is a damn that guy is a beast and he looks like he looks like a beast you know if if um if Jackson can can do what he did uh, can do what he did for this guy what he did for uh Wilcox <laughs> I'm I, I won't complain <laughs> third round you know um you know safety is you know if we double up on cornerbacks I'm fine with it um, but if we get, but if we, what this guy is following me on? If we, if we get um, a safety, you know, um, May out of Florida, uh, you know, the kid uh, Obi, you know, is another. Um, uh, who else? Why my mind went blank now? But anyway, um, you know, Xavier Woods is 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 probably my, you know. Uh, you know Desmond King is another one you know either either of those two guys I would love to have Desmond King um, you know last year you know last year he was projected to go first round uh, this year for whatever reason you know this year for whatever reason he's uh you know he he uh, well some of the stuff that you know came out I mean you know he got knocked down a little bit and you know, let's not forget that he, that he, um, that that this is a deeper class as well too. Um, I'll keep my eye open just in case a wide receiver may fall to us or even a tight end. So, you know, at, you know, if we draft good good players, if we hit on three again, three or four of them, we did a great job. All right, mahalo for watching, Paniolo boys and go Cowboys.